we have the ace of pentacles here this is something that you may be, be aces are always the potential for new beginnings right but the ace of pentacles it's starting something slowly it's laying each brick in the foundation solidly like you know properly making sure everything is done correctly as you begin this now we can have all the opportunities in the world they don't mean anything they're just doorways that get presented to us unless we walk through them so you might be contemplating whether you're going to walk through this doorway or not the thing is though with the ace of pentacles and i said this about the page of pentacles um i, I think it was in the aquarius reading that it kind of often looks like it's something that's begins slowly. It doesn't look like it's much, but it's going to grow into something big, especially when you've got the King of Pentacles sat there. You know, he sat right there in the middle and he can, he's self-made. You know, he this guy can do whatever he needs to do. So with the Ace of Pentacles coming up here, this is something that you begin now because you see where it's going to lead. This is like your life's purpose. This is something that has the potential to stand the test of time because it leads to the Ten of Pentacles, right? Something that you're going to build, that you're going to put time and effort into. Tangible representations of security and stability. That's what pentacles are. You know, work, um, finances, investment, savings, our homes, relationships even. I would always want a relationship that begins with the ace of pentacles. Because that's something solid. That's something that you are working towards. You know, emotions are great, but they can die out very quickly. Or passion is it can die out even quicker. But this is something that I'm in this. I'm going to build this. I'm going to work at this. This is something that I want and I can see this going somewhere. So whether that's a relationship, whether that's, um, you know, work or something for you, whatever it is, it looks good. I mean, that's an amazing energy. It looks like, feels like this week, this week is something. And I get the sense, well, I mean, I'm jumping ahead at judgment, but there's been some change or transformation that's been coming up for a lot of the signs. You know, there's a change. There's something different in the air, right? And with the King of Pentacles coming up at the heart of the reading, some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign or someone that has that kind of energy. Remember, the signs don't own the cards. So that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn type energy. But this is someone solid. He's willing to put in the work. You know, he's going to build that business. He's going to become head of his company. He's going to do whatever. But he gets it done. He's very stable. He's very solid. He's very traditional energy. And I love it because standing right next to him is the Queen of Swords. And that's your foundation. Now, this could be last week, last month, last year, whatever, right? But it's why we're looking at this now, why we're looking at this. So this is air energy, Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius. But what this tells me is you've gone through some kind of harrowing times. That's what she does. She's the heartbreak queen. She's the divorce queen, the widow queen, right? She's gone through it. But she stands there strong and proud and knowing who she is now, knowing who she is. She stands in her truth. She's not afraid to speak her truth. And that's who you've become of through whatever it is. That's what's giving you the strength to kind of do this. It's like you've got a solid foundation in who you are, in who you are. Now, yeah, for some of you, and I've been keeping these kind of energies, especially very kind of self-focused because I kind of feel like that's the way to go forward this week. Some of you might have met someone like that. Someone who's very outspoken, very communicative. They seem a little bit emotionally detached. That's, you know, that's her thing. But she's still supportive. She speaks the truth, though. And she will only accept the truth from other people. And that's, I love that. Because that's a very empowering energy of being in your truth. What's the thing I always say about the Queen of Swords? Damaged people are dangerous. They know they can survive. She knows that she's been through everything. That's why she's not afraid to say whatever she wants to say. She's like, what could happen out of this? I've gone, I've survived everything else. I'll survive this too. It's better to be in my truth. It's better to hear the truth. And from this, from being in your truth, from... Standing in your authenticity, what do we have coming in? We have the lovers. Now, the lovers, it's what we love. It's what we love. I'm going to say this. Aquarius got, some of you might have a thing going with Aquarius. You might be dealing with an Aquarian. They got the king of swords here. And they got the lovers here. So check out that video if you have placements in Aquarius as well. But this is, you know, the reason you can start build this slowly. The reason you can put that time and energy and effort into this is because you love it. You're coming from a heart space. This is really coming from, this is what I love. Now, I know, what do they say about the lovers? That, you know, it's um, a head or heart decision, but I don't truly see it as a decision because we know what we love, right? It's whether we're going to talk ourselves out of it or not. Whether, whether we're going to let that little chatterbox in our heads tell us that now nah, we don't want to do this. But it looks like you have an opportunity to build something here with the lovers coming up. And she's in the past, the kind of logical aspect. And that's not to say she's not there. She's a part of who you are, right? Everything we've been, 
we are right now, everything we will be exists in potentiality in us as well. But knowing your truth, being willing to put in the work to get it done, you know, having that kind of business savvy or just the kind of, um, what do I want to say? The stability, you know, the staying power. That's what he has to see this through till it happens. And then to have all that and to find something that you love, that's amazing, right? Of course, you're going to build this to something that's going to stand the test of time. What's the fly in the ointment though? Because there always is one, right? The fly in the ointment is it takes courage to do this. It takes courage to do this. But I'll get to that in just a moment. That's the strength card. With the lovers, it's the illusion of distance between ourselves and what we love. You know, sometimes we love something or someone, we just cover it from afar. Oh, I'd love that career. Oh, I love that person. Oh, I'd love that relationship. But we don't do anything about it. Time to put your money where your mouth is though with the Ace of Pentacles coming up. Because that's what it is. It's an opportunity to build this. You've got all the tools. There's this, uh, this is kind of overall energy of the magician coming up here. Even though now I don't see him, but I can kind of feel that type of energy coming in. You have everything. You have the knowledge. You have the tools. You know what you love. You know what you want to build. Now, this might be a relationship. This could be, you know, going for something that you love. But like I said, it requires strength and it requires courage. And we have that coming up here. We have that coming up here. And strength isn't an outward shows or displays of, you know, aggression or any of that. The lion is the one that's subdued. Now, some of you might be dealing with the Leo. So we have Leo, we have Gemini, we have earth energy, we have air energy here. But with strength coming up, it says you have the strength to overcome any obstacle. And you better believe it with the king of pentacles here. I'd love to, to see someone tell the king of pentacles he couldn't do something. I mean, the kings, they aren't kings for nothing. He's self-made. You can do this. But it's whether you have the courage to go for it. And courage, you know, it's what is courage? It's not that you don't feel afraid. It's not that you don't have your reservations. It's not that it's not any of those things. It's not that you don't see the obstacles ahead. But it's seeing those obstacles and treating them as challenges. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyway. What's the advice? The advice is judgment. And judgment is asking you, and I kind of, I say this in the outro, and it's kind of very strong in your reading here. What have you not survived, Pisces? I want you to look back. That's what judgment says. Look back at everything you've been through in your life. Look back at all the losses. Look back at every lesson you've learned. Look back at all those people that hurt you, how you hurt yourself, you know. Look back at all of that and you survived it. She's sitting above the judgment card. She stands strong because she survived all of that. So this is rebirth. This is transformation. It's about taking the lessons learned from all of that. And you've done that. The people are always rising up from their graves. I don't know if it's that noticeable here, but that's what they're doing. They're rising up. Second chance at life, right? This is a second chance you're getting at something. Something that you might have thought I wouldn't have. Whether it's at a relationship, whether it's just the ability to love again, right? Or to go for something or to build something solid. But yeah, you know, some old aspect of ourselves, for them, they had to lose. They, they had to die. The old versions of themselves had to go. The old life had to go. That's why they get a new life. Judgment is also about forgiveness. It's about releasing. And, you know, forgiveness is one of those things. It can take time. It's not something that I can just say, oh, I forgive and it's all done. But I always say that the, we don't forgive for other people. We forgive for ourselves to free ourselves. Everyone, whether it's you, you have to forgive other people. Everyone did the best that they could with what they knew at the time. It doesn't need to hold us now. It doesn't need to define us now. And it's about drawing a line under it. The decision that gets made, and I always feel like it's a judgment call, right? It's that decision that gets made. Am I going to face the future without fear and walk, you know, step forward into this new future? Am I going to leave all of that behind? Am I going to be defined by all of this? No, I'm not. I take the lessons and I step forward with courage and strength. So powerful, Pisces. I mean, I don't know if I've done it justice by conveying to you guys how powerful this reading is. Look to your, you guys are like the third sign that got this and Leo got this too and they got the strength card. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realise. You can do this. You know, sometimes we look back at all the things that happened to us and at the time, it, it's grueling, right? It hurts and it's awful. But surviving that, it strengthens you in ways that we can't always see in the moment, but we see further down the road. And that's what judgment is telling you to look at. You've transformed. The phoenix rising up from the ashes, that's judgment. Strength is telling you you have the strength to do this, whatever it is. If you guys kind of feel like you've been going it alone, you know, everyone's always let you down. It's just been me, myself and I, I kind of get that with the Queen of Swords sometimes. 
The tribe talks to me about finding people who support you for who you are. You know, you don't have to pretend to be anyone else. If you're trying to build something, there's support there for you. There could even be a relationship. I mean, the love is, yeah, it can be a romantic relationship. I see this more as a romantic relationship than the two of cups, but it doesn't have to be, right? We love our friends. We love our family. And I think about the tribe is finding that place where you fit, finding your community, finding your people. And it's not about an echo chamber. It's about that support that comes in. Like I said he's self-made, right? She's kind of been through it. She knows her truth, who she is. But this is about connecting now with whatever or whoever it is that you love building something new. Maybe you're trying to build a community. Maybe you're trying to build a new life somewhere. I think with the tribe, I'm really getting with this reading that there will be support for you. Do you? It says, oh my, things are stirred up and changes upon you. This is cause for celebration. No need to be nervous, but know that it's okay to be afraid when faced with the uncertainties of life. The funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear, rather in spite of it or even because of it. Step into the unknown now. Let go of the branch you are clinging to and let spirit take the wheel and help steer you to your highest good and most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said. Take one step toward the gods and they will take ten towards you. We're all doing the destiny cha cha on your behalf. That's right, don't be afraid to dance. Loving you always. And I think that's the, I mean, there's such amazing, beautiful energy here. And you've got basically three cards that talk about strength and courage, like coming up, these three. And you know, there's support here. You find your people. That's the whole thing. When you're authentically who you are, authentically who you are. Yeah, you might offend some people. Yeah, some people aren't going to be open to that, but that's their problem. They're coming from their own place. Wouldn't you much rather be around people that resonate with you, that support you, that love you for who you are, that you can be honestly who you are and they support you with that and it looks like you have that coming in but courage that's what's needed courage and the transformation's taken place I mean with this energy I feel like it's taken place now it's about rising up from those ashes and being that you know being that phoenix that you've transformed into